All right, you guys, welcome to another episode here at Wristwatch Diaries, where we simply talk about watch-related topics. And on today's channel, we are going to get down to the very basics of watch making and watch manufacturing. And that is defining what is the difference between your traditional quartz digital manual and your automatic watch. This is a question that I get very frequently on this channel and in person. A lot of new collectors do not have the idea what quartz manual or automatic even means. So by explaining, I'm hoping that you will have a better knowledge and understanding of how each watch functions and what are the differences between one and the other. I also will tell you pros and cons between each watch here today to hopefully help you make a better decision when it comes to your watch collecting journey. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and let's start with a watch that probably majority of you own or have owned in the past. And that is going to be your mass produced typical quartz watch now i do not want to say that this watch right here is your typical quartz watch this watch actually belongs to my wife this is a federic constant that i've gotten for her for her anniversary and it's honestly a stunning watch she loves it and she wears it every day but i've noticed that this quartz watch is missing a second hand so to explain to you guys how a quartz movement works i am going to use my own Grand Seiko SBGP005. Now, what is a quartz movement? Essentially, it is a movement that is operated by a circuit board which holds a quartz crystal that helps regulate the seconds hand to tell a very accurate time. If you take a look at this Grand Seiko, this is a high end quartz movement, but essentially the properties still apply here where you can see the seconds hand tick and take much more farther steps forward as opposed to your traditional manual or automatic watch, which we'll get to in a couple minutes here. And that is essentially the bare bone of how a quartz watch works. I will post a picture here so you guys have an idea what is under the hood of your traditional quartz watch. And I'm going to explain things in the most layman's terms as I possibly can for individuals that are not familiar with these terms and the terminology here I'm using today. So let's go ahead and let's move away from your traditional quartz watch and head over to the digital world, something that majority of you are very familiar with. So this will not be difficult to explain. Now, a digital watch essentially has the most functionality because it is operated through a software or a circuit board that can display the time on a digital screen. And that is absolutely the bare bone of what is under the hood. I will post a picture what the interior of a digital watch actually looks like. Some of the incredible digital watch making is going to be G-Shock. And that is a watch that I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with. Now we move on to the mechanical world, which is a little bit much more complicated and much more appreciated from a watch collector's perspective. And the very first one we have here is your manual watch. This actually is my holy grail, you guys. This is a watch that I extremely strive hard to be able to obtain and I have it is a limited edition Panerai 914 which has a whopping eight day power reserve. Essentially it is a bunch of mechanics mounted to a metal plate that function together like a gear set intertwining with each other. Now manual meaning that it is manually wind, which I'm going to do is fold a piece of paper here to explain to you guys what actually happens inside. As you manually wind, there is a spring that coils back together and releases power while it's slowly unwinding, providing what we now understand is called the power reserve. Now with this particular model, this watch actually has an eight day power reserve. That means it does not need to be wound again till the eight days have passed 
buy. What is the difference between your manual and your automatics? So let's go ahead, let's jump over to this particular dive watch. This is a fascinating bang for buck that I highly suggest if you are looking for an everyday beater, this would be the best option for you. Now, if I take this watch and if you hear the sound, I am winding the mainspring right now or as I like to call it the power reserve and if you take a closer look you can see that the seconds hand has very tiny little ticks which essentially almost looks like the seconds hand is gliding but in all reality it's just taking very small ticks that make up for the farther ticks that you see here on this Grand Seiko SBGP005. Now, you might be asking, well, what is the difference between manual and automatic? Well, they're essentially the same thing, except an automatic does not require you to wind a watch every eight days like this Penerai. It has what's called an oscillating weight which is essentially mounted on top of your manual movement that helps the movement wind itself with the motion of your wrist so every time you turn your wrist every time you wave it side to side that weight essentially moves inside and that is what helps this automatic watch function without being winded every eight days as opposed to this pen right right here now what are the pros and cons between each and every single one? Let's look at the very first one. And the pros for this one is definitely going to be the cost. Because of the mass production of a quartz watches out there to general public, the cost effective, you could pick up a quartz watch for as low as $12. The accuracy is also going to be much better than your traditional manual or automatic watch because of the technology behind a quartz movement now if we take a look at the digital world the accuracy and the cost are very familiar with your traditional quartz watch but on top of that digital watches also provide much more functionality due to the software and the ability to display more functions on an LCD as opposed to your traditional quartz watch, which is limited to displaying as much functions as your digital watch. Now, manual watches provide an excellent lifespan, and this is where they strive. They're also much appreciated by watch collectors meaning that they can last a very long time if your quartz watch breaks down essentially most people will toss it away or they simply just replace the entire movement but when it comes to manual watches the reason why they have a longer lifespan because they use traditional gears gears are once again meant to be serviced and are designed to be put back together to make the watch function again. So these are much more maintenance friendly as opposed to your digital or your quartz watch. Now the automatic is going to offer the same thing, it's going to offer a longer lifespan as well as function. The automatic watch just provides that extra step of functionality due to its ability to wind itself now there are drawbacks to all of these watches and if we go ahead and start with the quartz the biggest drawback in a quartz watch is definitely going to be the battery the battery has a lifespan so does the movement unfortunately these mass-produced quartz watches will at some point experience the end of their life now another one is the quality majority of quartz watches out there available to public just are not that great quality not to be confused with this grand seiko as this grand seiko uses a very high quality quartz movement that is actually designed to be serviced so let's go ahead and let's move on to your digital it is going to have the same drawbacks 
as your quartz watch because it does require battery except the really downside of a digital watch is that once it breaks it is completely garbage it would cost a fortune to try to source the part and replace certain things it would definitely surpass the price of the watch and majority of digital watches such as smart watches just have a very short lifespan as the technology moves forward and improves it makes this particular watch obsolete now moving on to manual and that is going to be accuracy nothing is going to be more accurate than your digital or your quartz watch as a matter of fact once again this grand seiko i feel like i'm plugging this grand seiko here a lot today but it's such a great watch to talk about because the accuracy and the course and the technology behind this really defines the topic that we're discussing here today this quartz movement actually has one of the best accuracies in the world of minus 10 plus 10 seconds per year now as opposed to your manual watch which is going to take a dip in accuracy because it functions on a traditional gear set the other drawback that we are going to notice when it comes to your manual or your automatic which is essentially your a mechanical caliber is the cost of ownership to service a mechanical watch can cost anywhere from 400 to as high as eight thousand dollars if you have a very prestigious watch such as Patek or Vacheron Constantine those watches require special certified watchmakers because of the complexity of each movement and that is where the downside of a manual or an automatic watch is is the cost of ownership and that is all I got for you guys I hope that this video kind of gives you guys the very basic understanding of how these watches really function if you like this video go ahead subscribe to the channel leave a comment down in the section below and i'll see you guys in the next one take care